So here's the drain that we picked up. Um, it's not gonna fit in here, it's too tall. And the reason they kind of do that is in case that there's bigger tile that you would put down on here or something like that. So you have to cut that. And I just use a hacksaw for that. So here, we're really talking about cutting it down to about an inch. So I'm gonna take a little bit more than an, about a little less than an inch. I'll go there. Take that off. Do, do, do. Go there. Let me do it here so I don't make a mess inside, inside my pan. clean up all these guys in here. Now let's see. Okay. Nice. So now we just screws in. So we want our tile, well we want our drain to be right at the same level as the tile or just a little bit lower. And we're just a little bit higher. So I'm gonna take another eighth of an inch off. Nothing like taking an eighth of an inch off with a freaking hacksaw, right? up you don't want to jam up, up your thread All right round two okay right there so you really want to have that funnel so we're gonna be right there okay so that's the first step. Step two is to get some stones around this, this uh, drain. And uh, that's really to help the draining of, of it. And uh, let's take that and we're gonna fill it all up. So we got this channel filled with our crushed stone. And really what happens here is around the perimeter, there's weep holes. So any water that gets through the ground, because it does, um, it will go down to the pan and then it'll make its way down to the weep holes. So if you were to pack this with your grout and really kind of you know have a thick layer of almost a ring of grout around those weep holes, then it's really going to be hard for that water to then get through. So then what happens is you have your water sitting around your drain, underneath the drain, because it does, 
and then you start seeing this coloration. So sometimes when you walk into a, a shower and you see that ring, almost like that yellowy, dirty ring around your drain, that's why. So if you're putting these crushed stones there, what happens is water gets here and then there's these big channels for it to go right through. So you put the, put the stones around them and then really just get the grout on top of it. Don't fill that with grout because then you're gonna make it even worse. So just get the grout right on top of the thin set, right? Thin set, thin set, thin set. Get the thin set right on top of those. Don't pack it in. Um, and then that's how that happens. So this way, when it gets there, it gets, it, it dries right out and goes right down the, the drain. Um, and that's how these drains are made. And really, that's very, very, very important, especially with porous um, Carrera marble tile. I got my marble tile in and um yeah so <laughs> really quick on tiktok i'm getting some response about me putting the gravel around the drain dudes you have to do that because water gets through these grout lines yes maybe two percent of the water maybe five percent of the water and there's a lot of grout lines here and also this is marble tile so that kind of you know has some moisture as well so most of your water yes runs this way and into your drain awesome but that two or 3% or 5% of the water that does get under the tile, it flows down the pan and then needs to be able to leave. So like I said previously, you need to give it room to get into those weep holes. If I just pack that with my grout, then it would never leave. And then you would have this yellow ring around your drain. That's how that works. 